three years now, uh, writing on the songs, uh, processing uh, the songs together as a band. Um, we've been recording uh, our instruments in different uh, different studios, uh, and it's been a three-year uh, process uh, making uh, the final product. I would say um, I have not played on the last album, but listened to it and, and sang a bit of, uh, of the backup harmony. I would say it's a lot darker than the last album. Um, it's grittier, it's more guitar heavy, it's, um, well, it's a coming of age album, isn't it? It's a bit more grown up. <laughs> <laughs> We produced the album uh, on our own uh, and then we sent the material to Alessandro Del Vecchio uh, uh, who has mixed and mastered, uh, he, he's done a great job. When uh, Marcus and the band asked me to work on the mix for the record, um, we discussed having a top-notch analog fat sound combined with uh, pristine modern productions. Well, you know. All bands would like to have that, but uh, in reality, most of the times, the production process doesn't bring the mixing engineer the the right requirements. But oh man, these guys! I don't know what's in. Maybe it's the water in Sweden or the food, or I don't know. But these guys send me some of the best tracks I've ever worked with, and um, we're talking about really top-notch, outstanding playing combined with great recordings and amazing production and, um, and sonic vision. An epic intro and the chorus just sticks to your head immediately. So that's a favorite of mine. The very unique uh, thing about uh, State of Salazar is the way they combine Vince DiCola kind of epic, stunning keyboards with uh, totally Michael Landau, Michael Thompson kind of guitars. The way they're tangled together in the solos and the arrangements is pretty, pretty unique in the scene. 